we don't expect all these 350 so people to come out and imitate Irma Bombeck, but we would hope it would open up doors for them and make them feel more confident about their own writing. When Dayton native Bill Bombeck died at the age of 90, Parade called him a champion of women's storytelling. He leaves a legacy of kindness that will forever remind the world of the power of understanding and listening to the stories of others. He was the silent partner behind the woman who was the hilarious voice for the foibles of family life, the man whose behavior could inspire a column, the father of the children who gave her more material than she could keep up with, and the friend who held her hand and supported her in a journey that was always 100% a family affair. During his life, Bill crossed the paths of writers, educators, university presidents, celebrities, high school students, marathon runners, and everyday people. At his core, he was a teacher, and he always put others first. As longtime National Chairman for Disaster Services for the Red Cross, he helped those struggling to rebuild their lives. When Irma died in 1996, he started the Irma Bombeck Organ Donor Awareness Project as a resource for the 100,000 Americans waiting for a life-saving kidney transplant. His spirit of generosity is reflected in the teachers who touch the hearts and minds of children in the Bombeck Family Learning Center on the University of Dayton's campus. We lovingly dedicated the 2018 Irma Bombeck Writers Workshop in his memory. We will always treasure Bill's wit, generosity, and personal involvement in starting and helping to build this workshop into a wildly popular creative pilgrimage for writers from around the nation and beyond. If you measure someone's life by the smiles they were responsible for creating, Bill Bombeck built an empire. He showed us not only how to live with humility, laughter, and joy, but how to support others as they find their own beautifully funny and incredibly important voices. How grateful we are for Bill Bombeck and his legacy.